So I'm further into the process here. I'm just going to zoom out and show you. I've done all of this to the left. It's, it has been a long process, there's no doubt about it. And in this area onwards, I've actually been doing it direct into the region. I haven't been breaking it into chunks. So you might want to do that. If you feel confident with Logic 9, then you know there's no harm in doing it. In some respects, you know it could be argued that you're going to get a better result. So I'm going to demonstrate that as well. Okay. So if you take, for example, this section I've got here, this is the next bit and I'm going to play it for you. You can hear it's out. So I'm going to pick up this marker, which is going to take it up to the next bar. And what's a good way to do it, to try to retain the groove is to lock down the beats. Let's see about this one. Do a little bit of tidying up here. Let's just try and find the other beats. Okay, this one here you can see we need to bring that one back. So occasionally you need to get in there. And these two, I think we're going to get those a bit more regular. I'm not sure about this one. Let's move this. Now that's too much of a pause at the beginning there. Let me undo. Okay, let's try locking it down on here. That's good, just here now. I think I need to bring that a 16th. Let's have a listen to that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And so I'm going to keep going. And uh, let's see if we can get this next section sorted too. Now this one here is really syncopated, so the kick um, you're hearing in the background, we're going to see if we can get this locked down with that as well. Okay, I'm going to do a loop, not as long as that was, I'm going to do it here. Let's bring that snare fill back a bit. And we've probably got what we class as a 32 grid, they're more so than a 16, let's just have a look. It's not bad at all. Let's keep going. Okay, so what we need to do here is to drag this one over to get that beginning in the bar sorted. Just move that one over for the next bar. Getting some amazing loops on this, you know, some real food for thought, some real inspiration. This is a messy one. these flams going on over here. Let's see if we can improve on that. I'm going to do this section. You can see how much work it is, but you know, if you want to do these things, you're going to get in and you're going to have to do it. Come back a bit. Okay, here we go. Let's try and get this correct. There we go. Actually, potentially that could be exactly where I was before. Let me go from here. It sounds a little bit um, electronic, but it should be fine. And let's have a look over here. It's 
customers like Samba. You can really hear the stretching going on there. I think I'm going to undo that one. So you can see that sometimes you need to make conscious decisions about whether or not you're locking it in, whether you're keeping it as it is. Okay, now this is a tricky one. Let's bring this over. It's not bad at all. If you want to preserve the humanity in that fill there. Let's come to the next one. By the way, I also felt that I wanted the overall track to be faster, so I took the tempo to 123. So that does mean that a certain amount of stretching, more so than before, has to occur. Not bad. this one a bit earlier for me that's too electronic now with all that grain stretching stuff being audible okay maybe this a little bit later okay I'm going to leave that for the moment let's go over here Mercifully, this is a short track, you know, two and a half minutes. Obviously, it's going to take a lot longer if you've got a very lengthy tune. So many great loops here. And of course, yeah, you can come back to any later on once you start building your re-edit if you need to make any changes. Another lovely loop there. So we're doing well, so yeah. What I'll do is I'll stop there for the moment and then on the next video we'll pick up when all of this editing and syncing has been finished.